Hello, welcome back to Learn Economia. Today we are going to see the difference between the nominal effective exchange rate and the real effective exchange rate. What is the difference between the two? Let's have a look into the same in today's session. Moving to the first difference between the real effective exchange rate and nominal effective exchange rate. This REER stands for the real effective exchange rate real effective exchange rate move to this concept what we could have is that this displays the whole nation's adjusted value with respect to other significant trading currencies okay so this is the adjusted value that we have to consider what about the nominal effective exchange rate nominal effective exchange rate or near this is something which displays how much the home nation's currency is worth in relation to other currency so this shows the actual value not the adjusted value here we have actual value and here we have adjusted value Let's consider more differences. Here we can see that the real effective exchange rate is considered to be a more accurate estimate. Why? This is as a result of being corrected for inflation. We are considering the effect of prices here when it comes to the real effective exchange rate. But what is the case with the nominal effective exchange rate. The nominal effective exchange rate would be providing some measurements that are not exactly precise. Why? Because we do have price fluctuations. Price fluctuations. Differences in, fl in inflation or differences in the price level which are not being taken into consideration in the nominal effective exchange rate. Again, when it comes to the real effective exchange rate, this is something that concentrates on the exchange rate differentials and also this would be eliminating the effects of currency specific inflation differentials because we are adjusting for prices here. This is something which is adjusted for prices in that situation what is the case with the near or nominal effective exchange rate this would be having an influence on the difference in inflation rate between country and its trading partners that is all again the real effective exchange rate is considered to be something where we can have a trade weight or this is trade weighted and this is something that you can determine only with the nominal effective exchange rate only if you have the nominal effective exchange rate you can have a real effective exchange rate by adjusting this for prices or by adjusting for inflation now moving to the nominal effective exchange rate you can determine the very same using a currency basket and also this is trade weighted if you have certain currency basket like uh, if you have something called a basket of currencies something like uh, US dollar, Japanese yen, uh, Chinese yuan, UK pound, things like that. This would form a basket of currencies, right? And whenever you have the very same, you can use this so as to consider, so as to have, so as to compute the nominal effective exchange rate. 
and once you have the nominal effective exchange rate you can adjust the very same for inflation and have the real effective exchange rate for the very same reason we can see that the real effective exchange rate and the nominal effective exchange rate both of these are connected connected and also we can see that the real effective exchange rate depends on the nominal effective exchange rate this also you can tell that is all regarding today's session hope you understand the difference between the real effective exchange rate and the nominal effective exchange rate i request you to like share as well as subscribe to this channel for more videos also i request you to join our free telegram community where you can discuss your doubts i'll be providing the link of the very same in the description box you can join from there also you can download the learn economy app for that also i'll be providing the link in the description box that's it regarding today's session thank you for watching and kindly do consider this channel for liking sharing as well as subscribing thank you again